Welcome to a lesson on determining mass using triple integrals. The mass of an object is the quantity of matter in an object regardless of its volume or other forces acting on it. So for example, if you leave the planet Earth, your weight would change, however your mass would not. And if an object has uniform density, then the mass is equal to the density times volume. However, if a mass has variable density, we can still determine the mass using triple integrals. Density given by a density function rho, which looks like this p, then the mass is given by the triple integral of the density function integrated over the region d, where d would represent the boundaries of the solid. Let's go and take a look at an example. We want to determine the mass of the solid in the first octant bounded by the plane 2x plus y plus z equals six and has the density function rho of x, y, z equals 0.5x. So the density is going to be equal to the triple integral of our density function. I'm going to go ahead and write this as one half x. And now we need to decide on an order of integration for differential v. Let's go ahead and use dz, dy, dx. So we'll start with determining limits of integration for z. We know our solid is in the first octant and it's bounded by this plane. So the lower limit of integration for z would be zero and the upper limit of z would be determined by this plane written as a function of y and x. So if we solve this equation for z, we would have z equals six minus two x minus y and that would be our upper limit for z. And to determine the limits of integration for y and x, let's go and take a look at the x, y trace. Remember we determined this by setting z equal to zero so we'd have the line two x plus y equals six. So we have an x intercept of three and a y intercept of six. The limits of integration for y must be expressed as a function of x so we do have to solve this equation for y. We would have y equals six minus two x. So y starts here at zero and then it goes up to the line again expressed as a function of x. So if the limits of integration for y, we would have from zero all the way to six minus two x. And then for the limits of integration for x, the interval would be from zero to three. So the value of this triple integral will give us the mass of this solid with density given by this function. So we'll integrate one half x with respect to z, that'll be one half x z. Now we'll replace z with six minus two x minus y and then with zero. And then when z is zero, this would be zero. Let's continue this on the next page. Let's go ahead and distribute. So we'll have three x minus x squared minus one half x y. Now we'll integrate the specs to y. So three x y minus x squared y. Here we'll have one half x times y squared over two or minus one fourth x y squared. Now we'll replace y with six minus two x and then with zero. So three x times six minus two x minus x squared times six minus two x. Here we'll have one fourth x times six minus two x squared. Let's go ahead and foil this here. We're gonna have thirty six minus twenty four x plus four x squared. And then we're gonna multiply this by one fourth x. So we'll have eighteen x minus six x squared minus six x squared plus two x to the third. Here we're gonna multiply this negative one fourth x times this trinomial. So we'll have minus nine x, so will be plus six x squared. And then here we're gonna have minus x to the third. Let's go ahead and combine our like terms. We're gonna have one x cubed minus six x squared 
plus 9x. And now we'll integrate with respect to x. We'll have 1 fourth x to the fourth minus 6 times x to the third over 3. That'll be minus 2x to the third. And here we have plus 9 halves x squared. Evaluate this at 3 and 0. And then when x is 0, we'll have 0. Here we're going to have 81 fourths minus 54. Plus here we're going to have 9 times minus 81 halves. This gives us 27 fourths, which is equal to 6.75. And again, this would be the density of the solid. So again, this would be the density of the solid in the first octant, bounded by this plane here with the density function given here. I hope you found this example helpful. Thank you for watching.